Uh, good evening and welcome to your Sunday evening program. I am happy to be here with you once again uh, to share ideas and bring you up to date on the work of your government. On Anupali, we seek to address the issues that matter to you and impact your livelihoods and your futures. On today's program, I thought I would strike a light-hearted tone and chat with three people who are deeply involved in the business of entertainment in Dominica. We can all agree that Dominica boasts a rich, vibrant culture and various festivals that highlight our musical expressions and dance. We see a number of young, talented people making their mark in music locally, and there are those who have been able to break through and make a name for themselves outside of Dominica. As we contend with COVID-19, our entertainers are operating within severe constraints and their livelihoods have been impacted. I thought I'd spend some time tonight talking about how artists and entertainers are faring during this period and their outlook for entertainment in Dominica. My guests are Norman Later, one of the founding, for the founders of Dominica's oldest dance bands, uh, the Swinging Stars. And Geoffrey Joseph, the manager of Triple K International, and Issa Banton, uh, the wet, fat king, one of our more dynamic Dominican performers. You are welcome to call. The numbers are 225-3400 and 611-3400. Gentlemen, good evening to you, Mr. Later, Asa, and, and Geoffrey. Welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Thank you. And, and thanks for making the time to be here with us to interact with the listening public. Mr. Later, you've been around for a long time. Too long. <laughs> <laughs> you know, can, you tell, can you give us, of course, the, the viewers and listeners, uh, can you tell us about your background now? background of oh, yourself your, your involvement in music well um okay actually i i got into music at the, at the age of 15. Mm -hmm. but i got into music mainly, mainly because of my mother mm -hmm. she was an excellent pianist and and i had an, an two aunts who also played piano one was in new york played professionally and the other one who was in dominica and and I also had music from, from my father's side. I don't know if you are aware of that. I had a first cousin who was the world's top, 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 top dancer. And he had the number one top dancing studio in the United States. That's on 53rd Street. So um, I, 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 I got into music through that. And shortly thereafter, I got to the government band and, and then singing. The swinging Stars. And it has really been a pleasure being with Swinging Stars all these years. I joined Swinging Stars in, in, in 61. Mm -hmm. And um, I became, I don't even want to say, a leader or manager in about 68 or, or 69. Mm -hmm. my, my brother was a manager and he was transferred to, to, to Monstrat. But I was doing so much in the band, so much work in the band. That I suppose the, the other guys had no choice. Though I wasn't one of the older guys, but um, they, they chose me to lead. And I've been there, and Swinging Stars has been a success. I mean, mm. our first tour, band started in 59, our first tour was to Antigua in 64, mm. and then St. Lucia on New Year's six, 65. People didn't know the band, but yeah. St. Lucians came, we played at Palm Beach, a club. People said, it, well, it, it was well advertised. They came around, they said, if the band is good, they'll come in. But by the time we played two songs, the place was flooded. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then yeah. we went back to St. Lucia the following year, and we recorded, we did our first recording in 67. 
then 68, we did another, another recording. And the first recording was Patty and, and Tomcat Mambo. Mm -hmm. Patty was number one in the Caribbean. Now, there was, at that time, there was an advantage. Mm -hmm. right, right now, we have FM radio, and FM does not reach very, very far. Right. But before, we used to have AM. Yeah. So you find the whole Caribbean heard the music from different islands. I see. So I can, I, I can remember there was a popular station in, in Venezuela. There was one, there were 610 Radio and Trinidad Radio Trinidad. Then there was Wibs and Radio Grenada. There was one in St. Vincent. There was Rediffusion and Radio Caribbean in Barbados, Martinique, Guadeloupe, Dominica, Radio Antilles in Montserrat. Mm -hmm. A very popular one in St. Thomas. And so when you did a recording, the whole Caribbean got it. Got it. And also, now, now what used to happen, the, the musicians themselves were under tremendous pressure because as songs came out in the United States or England, they, they had them in the Caribbean. So when people hear a song on, on a Radio Guardian and then on the uh, Utomian station and so on, the bands had to get the song. Mm. So sometimes we, we were on, I can remember, I could just sing over a song, Beijing on Kilele Pom Pom. Mm. That, thing, that song came to Dominica, I think, on the Friday or the Thursday. We had to play on Saturday. I had to stay at my home and write the thing and make bass man get the part and, do, and just go in the, in the dance and play, you know? Uh, but it has been, it has really been a pleasure. We've traveled a lot. We've been as far as Germany mm. to the east and to the west. We've been to Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary, Winnipeg, well, practically. Almost all of Canada. Yeah. We used Excellent. to go to Toronto every year, but in recent times things have changed. You know, yeah. this is well, I, so I see you as um, the the Jacob de Varé. <laughs> you know, uh, so you 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 you're synonymous to to, to him in, um, in 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 swing stars. So I really want to thank you for mm -hmm. for for your so many decades of service to the country. Thank you very much for this. Um, I'm sure you, we could spend the whole night talking about oh, your background and so on. Um, Geoffrey, you, you, you've been around for some time. Some time, yes. Not as long as Mr. Later, but um, yeah. I've been in You were born here. No, okay. so no, you, I was. You, <laughs> I was not even a 25 years late. <laughs> right. Uh. But actually, I have been involved in um, music um, for close to about 25 years now. Um, I've been doing music with different um, bands. Um, and then started with Triple K, uh, now rebranded as TK, in 2004. Mm. Um, I came in as keyboardist, well, rhythm keyboardist and um, backup vocalist. And you know, I, I made my presence felt in the band in terms of administration and so on. And then in um, 2017, mm -hmm. um, directly before Hurricane Maria, I was thrust into the managerial position. Um, and it has been a... a, a an exciting ride, I must say, because um, you know these are twelve very talented and professional guys that I'm, I'm privileged to manage, and we have, as we swing in stars, and I know with Asa as well, we have been traveling and touring extensively. Um, we've done the Germany run, we've done the Amsterdam, the, the Belgium, uh, the U.S. continent, the, the wider Caribbean. Um, you know, so we have been doing what we have to do, and um, it's been a very exciting and. Um, Challenging time, I must say, especially now coming in. Um, I would dare say I'm a uh, younger manager in the in the industry, and um, you know to have to deal with going through Maria and then now with COVID, yeah. it's been a challenge, but a fun ride and exciting ride, and uh, we look forward to the opportunities to come. Sure, thank you very much, Asa. Yes, yes, yes. Um, well, as most people know me as Asa Banton, but my my rightful name is Asa Edwards. You know, I just don't. Let you guys know a little more about me, you know. Um, I used to, I used to play cricket f for Dominica. I used to be the captain. Well, I was the captain for the Dominica Under 15 team. Um, I, I played for Dominica Under 19. I also played for Winwards Under 19. And I, during that time, I used to do music still playing. I, 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 I since a little boy. Maybe like in 2000, 2000, 1999, 2000, I used to sing, you know, I, I had my 
those songs there, people like Jeffrey wouldn't know about it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but PM no, PPM no, because at, at that age, when, when I was in high school, be, because of my lyrics and, 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 the, and the talent I have, and, and was never afraid of um, crowds, you know. I used to get the opportunity to, to go and perform, you know, for in, in rallies and, and Miss South City shows and so on. And then I, I moved to St. Martin after I left school and I had a decision to, to make whether I would stay in cricket or, or, or take the music, um, the music road. But um, I had to take a, a chance and something I always say, we have to take the risk. If you don't take, take a chance, you would never know what would happen, you know? So I made a decision to, to go for the music and, and the music actually, that's why I'm here today, right now. But PM, before, before you start with the, with the, with the questions, <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just want to say, um, I, I just want to thank you. I just want to thank the Prime Minister of Dominica and the government of Dominica for making me an ambassador. I, I want to thank the, the, the people of Dominica for, for supporting me and acknowledging that I'm a true ambassador and, and you know, they, they recognize the work that I've, I've done. And uh, I, I, I just want to say thank you again to the government of Dominica for taking that step. Sure. Thank so. you. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, Mr. Leto, you, you come from a different era of music, as, as you pointed out, and, um, mm -hmm. and, and entertainment. Uh, how has the industry evolved, though, um, from the heyday of Swinging Stars Band? Well, oh, I mean, when we started, actually, the, the music was mm -hmm. Calypso, Cha Cha, Mambo, mm -hmm. Merengue. Passio, you know, and, and over the years it kept changing and, and we had to be adapting through. Um, and as I said bef before, there was really, I mean, there was no television. So a good musician was a very loved and popular person mm -hmm. in the country. Mm -hmm. And bands were very loved and, and popular. So, um, I can remember for quite a few years well, we, um, we, we used to play actually three times a weekend, every Friday, Saturday, Sunday. When I started working, I mean, salary was 74 50 a month in the <laughs> service. I used to get twice that, three mm -hmm. times that from music. Mm -hmm. You know, it was, I mean, it was, it, and, I, I, I mentioned some some this a while ago. I remembered something. To, just to give you an idea. We were playing at Green Lantern once. We had a crowd. And a guy came in. He paid his money. And he said, no man, Delilah. Just a wonderful song. No man, Delilah, no. We, we played it for him. He said, uncle, we played it again. He said, OK, thank you. And he went. Hmm. He paid his money to come to hear Delilah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, you know, and anyway, over the, over the years, it has really been nice, as I say, we, were, we did our first record in 67, and we, we traveled extensively. And the, as I said, music has been changing. We went from, the, as I said, the Passio and the Cha Cha and so on, we went into, um, the, there was Rocksteady, um, Ska, mm -hmm. then you had Reggae, Reggae is still here. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, it always, these things evolve and Calypso now has changed to Soka. Soka also evolved itself because if you remember the first guys to come out of first guy was Shorty. Shorty was a Calypso, a popular mm -hmm. Calypso. Mm -hmm. and, when, and, when, and we've been adapting over the years you know and now it's, it's mainly Soka Bouillon and reggae and also ballads and well, well American and English music and so on. Mm. But, the, but, but the band just has to adapt to the, to, the times. To, uh, to the times. And when we started playing, there was another thing again. 
Bef before there was no vocalist in band, it was strictly instrumental. Mm. So there was a lot of you, you had to practice a lot. You had to devote time because every song you got an intro, you had an introduction, you had a part in between, and you had a part at the end, which you called a breakaway. And somebody had to do a solo. Because you had to make the music exciting. Mm -hmm. But, but with, since vocalists came in, it has made it very, very much easier. Mm -hmm. Vocalists carry a lot of load, and you have I mean, more, more participation, more action on stage with mm -hmm. vocalists in front and so on. Because before, everybody used to be like reading music or doing other thing, you know? Mm -hmm. But um, it's, been a, it's been a wonderful experience. Oh, I, I have no regrets going, going to music. Sure, thank you. Uh, Issa, Geoffrey, mm -hmm. um, you both have had much success, um, you know, as a band and, and, and solo artists, touring, uh, drawing large crowds, and, and getting booked on a consistent, on a consistent basis. Uh, what accounts for that success? Um, I would say, you know, working on, working on our craft, um, but the most important thing, you have to be disciplined. You have to um, be observant, you know, stay, well, me personally, I'm talking from my standpoint, you know, stay connected to, to all ages, you know, the, the um, kids, the elderly, you know, and, and the party crowd, I would say. Um, and, and for me, giving back a lot, you know, I like to give back, you know, I, I always giving back to the, to, the, to the schools, the elderly, you know, keep my fan base, you know, and um, work on my, on my music and especially for, for regional and international, what they want to hear and what they would react to when, when I travel. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, well, I want to echo some of the sentiments Asa said, because you really have to be um, dedicated mm -hmm. And you really have to be able to understand your market, your target market, your audience. Um, so over the years, I mean, Triple K has, right now we're celebrating over 21 years in existence. And um, I think it's a tremendous feat to be able to have fans from 20 years ago mm -hmm. and um, getting new fans currently as we speak, you know. And so we have been able to connect with different generations from since the early 2000s to currently in 2020. So it's been a, it's been a real... Um, nice ride in terms of being able to, to, to bring that synergy with the fans of before, the fans of now, understanding the music, understanding the, the different um, types of style of music that people gravitate towards at different times. And, um, you know, just really a lot of love for the fans. You know, it's, it's not an easy road, but it's an enjoyable road. And it's really the fans that give you that, that, that momentum to push forward. You know, and we, again, as Isa said, we also do our own um, philanthropic um, activities, you know, giving back with scholarships and other 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 um, noble gestures that we that we usually do. So it's really just feeding off the energy of the fans and continuing to to, to grow um, with the fans as well. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the, I, I know the Dominica entertainment industry uh, has taken a hit. I mean, like the rest of the world, uh, due to COVID nineteen pandemic. Can you summarize for us the extent of the impact in, on your livelihoods as musicians and entertainers? Uh, Jaffa, you want to start with this? Yes. <laughs> well, because, I mean, for 20 years plus, we, as the, the members of Triple K, um, music has dominated our lives, you know, um, performing, touring, producing, and stuff like that. That has really been our life. Our livelihood, as Norman said, you know, you, they, you can make and we have been making a very comfortable living from music. There are those of us who rely solely on music, and um, it has been successful for us. And obviously, coming from a very successful carnival, 2020, um, and by the way, we won Ban of the, if it's Ban of the Year, Ban of the Monday or something like that. Anyway, we won, we won for our presentation of Mega Monday, and um, we had quite a number of plans for the year coming up, you know? Extensive touring, a lot of um, progress in terms of production and stuff like that. And um, about two weeks thereafter, we are in a total shutdown of basically the entire world, you know. And um, unlike with, the, with Maria, where we could actually gravitate to another jurisdiction to continue performing, with COVID, everything shut down. 
so it, it put us honestly um, after a, a little bit of time in a in a mood of despair. I'll be honest with you. You know, when when guys cannot see you, when you're uncertain of the future that much, it really get, puts a damper on your spirit. You know, and it had to take us as a group, and that's the beautiful thing about having a group with, with, within our um, organization, where we are able to count on each other, depend on each other, hold each other's hand throughout that process, you know, and um, it was very, very, very nice to know at least we had some support from our corporate partners um, to assist us along the way and to get us going again and to, to give us a little vibe. So though there was despair, but um, we had to use that challenge to make us stronger, you know, and to make us gravitate and, and, and pull through. No one, you, 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 you tour every year. Yes, yes. Uh, so you, so the, the pandemic has, in fact, affected uh Oh, it has affected us greatly. I mean, swing it hasn't played till si since Carnival. Carnival. <laughs> that's, that's the question that has ever, ever happened, obviously. So, I mean, with no money coming, coming in, you still have to pay your rent. So you have all kinds of little expenses. Mm -hmm. This goes bad. So, um, <laughs> we are not usually broke, but we, things are tight now. <laughs> Unlike that's an, uh, that's an experience of a, of, of a lifetime. Lifetime, no doubt. No, no, it's a you. You rely heavily on your tours. Mm -hmm. How has this uh, impacted your career? Um, financially, it had a, it had a direct impact on, mm -hmm. on me. Um, especially when, when, when you're doing seven to ten shows a month. Seven to ten shows a month. Seven to ten shows a month? Mm -hmm. Seven to ten shows every weekend. You know, we all something to be doing free for the free for our weekend. You know, seven to ten shows a month. To know. Well, they got like you need your own plane, man. <laughs> That's why sometimes, <laughs> they, sometimes when I used to um, speak with the power rep from, from Rose, she used to tell me, you want my husband the same, I'll always move in. <laughs> um, from doing like seven to ten shows and, and now doing zero, that's yeah. what I to tell you. I can imagine that. That's what I tell you. And um, I remember in the, the, the last show I, I did was um, before the um, corona. We went to Monst Monstra and, and that is when we heard about the... Um, COVID-19 and so on, so they had to cancel the show. And my my calendar of events was like crazy. I um, I lose out on um, Germany. I was I, I, I would be in Germany this year for my first time. Berlin Carnival, um, England, Northern Ireland Carnival, um, France, um, Uber Soccer Cruise. Presently, right now, I would be on the Uber Soccer Cruise on the Uber Soccer Cruise heading to Belize and you know, St. Lucia Carnival, Antigua Carnival, all those carnivals. So I know the, the musicians that, that travel like me, they get hit hard. And especially me, I get hit real, real hard. Mm -hmm. But um, despite that, I, you know, I, I find other ways to, to feed my family and, and still find ways mm -hmm. to, to continue my, my project and my, and my music mm -hmm. and so on. Now, we have seen that you've taken on the initiative uh, to advance a career, uh, taking charge of international bookings um, and planning local events, uh, you, you create employment. I mean, what motivates that go-getter attitude, though? Well, you know, it, it, sometimes there's always somebody that thinks different, you know. I, I, I don't really like to do the, the, the same thing that everybody doing, and you know, mm. Sometimes, as I say, when you travel to represent your country, and no matter where you travel, sometimes you have to, you have to look and see what, what can work in, in your country. Mm. And me, is, 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 is all about making things better, um, advancing Dominican music, mm. and employing, see, see what way I can employ people in the work that I do. So for, for, for example, I, I have this event called um, Breakfast Fest that, that I bring up. And um, one day, you know, I say, you know what, I need to have my, my own event, my own brand, and away from everything, which means away from Carnival, away from Easy Door and Festival and so on. So I choose, so I pick a date, 
and then I, I see Dominicans like to come out late. You know, they, 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 like, they like to come out from like 1, 12 o'clock in the, in the morning. So I'm going to start the event from that time and, 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 and we'll go daybreak, okay. seeing that I'm the, I'm the wet fed king and people love water and so on. And then I'm going to brand it with a collar every year. Mm. And that was one of the best things that happened to, to Grand B, for Grand B, because that event has have, have grown and bring thousands of people into in um, to the show, and I want to say maybe almost a thousand people right now coming to Dominica just for that right. show. And whenever I give the the color of the show, the entire of Rosu, all the stores have the color selling, so everybody making money, yeah. you know. And if I would have to put a, a cap on it financially for Grand Bay, that bringing over two hundred thousand in Grand Bay. In, in terms of um, um, renters, taxi, the guest houses, bars, shops, and, and, and so on. So, you know, something you have to... So it's all about creating, get it. creating the creating, opportunity. Create, creating stuff, you know. Yeah. Something you don't have to wait for, for people to do it or wait for the government to do it. Something you have to come out and do it and, and all that play a role in the economy and, and sure. help, you know. Sure. Thank you. Now, Geoffrey, Triple K International, uh, uh, you, you know, you, you've taught, as you indicated, uh, the world over. Mm -hmm. um, this year was looking very, um, very, very good for you. Very um, good. Many um, bookings. I mean, how, how has uh, TK uh, adjusted to the limitations imposed by COVID-19? Well, um, as the saying goes, you know, when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Mm -hmm. And um, we, again, we had no choice but to, to work with what is presented um, before us. Mm -hmm. um, TK, now um, formerly Triple K, is a band that is very resilient. We, 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 we usually we have this spirit of rising above all forces, you know. And um, we had to look to see what we could do. And... Um, the innovation of, of, of the guys from early on uh, when the pandemic came on, we decided that we were going to look into ways that we could actually utilize the, the platforms that we have available um, to ensure that the band and the brand, the genre and the country stays relevant. So basically what we did was um, I think we were one of the, one of the first um, entertainment um, entities on the island to think of using the internet as a platform for um, for promoting and producing a, an interactive show. Um, um, well, we had discussions on that, um, PM. Yeah. You know, so um, I, it was it was an interesting time. It was a, a, a trying time for us because we were not sure exactly how to do it. It was our first time, um, but we did it, and I must say it was a success. And we I really want to thank all the people behind the scenes who made it possible. Yeah. And um, I think it, it, it really was a springboard for all other persons within the industry to realize that it is possible. And um, when we look at it internationally, regionally, and so on, um, all the other persons and bands, artists around the region and the world, they have also gravitated towards that, you know? Um, one of the things that we just realized, though, is that the format um, of what people are accepting for these online events um, kind of changed from when the pandemic started to right now. When it started, you would have found that persons would have been more willing to make a, uh, I won't say a contribution, but would be more, more willing to pay for um, that, that sort of service. Currently, um, persons figure, they, they rather get it for free. I don't know if it's because a lot of people are doing it for free, so they rather just jump on, on these free social media platforms and enjoy it. Though some will contribute and make a donation, but, you know, so, but we, we, we're still looking at things. I mean, things are adjusting uh we we thought at some point we will be we will be able to have hosted an event especially during the independence season but um you know things change so that, that sure, could happen sure. but thank you we'll adjust yeah, yeah. now we've had to make um, to take restrictive measures uh, uh, that make it difficult to hold public events um, it, is it your view that the government has put in place the right measures uh, to protect the population despite the impact on the entertainment industry? Yes, yes, Mr. Prime Minister. I mean, government had to do something. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you check what is going on, like in the United States, people just entering there freely and 
day before yesterday, they had 184,000 new, new, new cases. Yeah. So, I mean, we, we can't have that kind of thing in Dominica. And, um, and I think the population should give full support. Yeah. Now, in the case of musicians, for instance, I, I know we are planning, planning a virtual show, you mm -hmm. know, because um, we can't play at this time. I sincerely hope that there's talk of a vaccine and maybe even like by January things should, should have changed mm -hmm. slightly and maybe we could have our Calypso tent and, you know, mm -hmm. a limited number of people and so on. But for, for now we're going to have a virtual show, which it, uh, we are planning for the 28th. 28th um, of and, and, and November? That, and, and that's from Kempinski, I hope okay. I've spoken to early. But <laughs> the pro we, there is a little, uh, between the, there's a, we had a death very close to the, the okay. basement's father passed, you know. Oh, sorry to hear. So I don't know what's, what's, what was going to happen. We have to find out from sure. what the situation is. Sure. But what, what the situation is. But we will have it. Sure. If not the 20 years, maybe the following weekend or two weekends after. Okay. Well, we look forward to that then. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. Triple K. Yeah, so go ahead. Question. Yeah, because yeah. I, I wanted to um, also add to what um, Mr. Mm -hmm. Luther was saying. Um, you know, we really respect and we have to commend the Ministry of Health for really looking at the science behind this pandemic and mm -hmm. taking the, the necessary correct steps because obviously we have seen the positive results, you know, mm -hmm. the success that the country has had in fighting this, this, this um, situation, although again we maybe put in our guard towards the, the latter end, but you know, I think it is it's a commendable move. Um, my only concern though with the with the um, the measures that have been put in place, though I, I don't oppose them, mm -hmm. was the fact that probably there was not enough consultation with the stakeholders within the industry prior to the to the measures being um being being disseminated because um there was a lot of um activities that were being planned and being promoted within the guidelines that were stipulated at the time and then just about four days before that particular weekend we were just thrust into this whole chaotic situation that was in that, that was in the original initial stages of the restrictions no, we're speaking of the independence. The, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, independence. You know, because we, we realized at some point we would be able to have gatherings of 250 yeah. people. Actually, before there was any uh, mandate to request permission, we had written to the Ministry of Health, to the mm. Environmental Health, mm. to the police. So at least we were just informing them. Mm. Um, there was no response, but, um, you know, we figured that things could go ahead as, as, as we saw it could have gone. And just about four days before we were informed, hey, you have to do mm. this, you have to do that. And the, the measures were really onerous on us to be able to, to yeah. accomplish which forced us to have to um, postpone our events to a yeah. little bit. But, no, um, well, we appreciate that. We, yeah. we accept the criticism. Yeah. Um, we accept the criticism. It is, it is not uh, uh, ill-placed. Yeah. Um, but I think at that, on that, at that time, we were facing um, what a spike. Um, you know, and, um, and you had a couple of bus drivers. You had people walking in a bar. You had somebody who who was from one village but working in another village. Yeah. Um, you had a school teacher, and then we had to test the entire, the entire school population. So it, it, it would have been a, 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 it was a major um, concern at the time. Oh, thank God, um, you know, our worst fears were, were not realized um, at the time. But we, we, are, we, are, we accept the, the criticism, and, yes. and we, we note it, and we hope that going forward that um, something like that uh, won't, won't happen so. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Well, in our case, we mm -hmm. were having two activities on yeah. the first and the third. Yeah. We had tickets made and so on. Yeah. Tickets. <laughs> we had yeah. to play cards with them. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why we did not... But we, we had tickets made. Yeah. Yeah. By the time, we did not really ban it. No. We didn't really ban it. We, we, we solicited <laughs> the cooperation <laughs> of the entertainers. And I must say, I must say that, you know, the entertainers responded very, very, very nicely, and um, you know, people cancel the events on their own, on their own volition, on their own doing, because it was not a, it was an imposition of the law. Mm -hmm. It was just an announcement and seeking that, 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 that support. Said, Brian said this, the situation is, that I think people would have been afraid to come out. Right. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that's you know, all. That's all. That's all. Yeah, yeah. 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 Let's there's eight new cases or nine new cases. That's right. They're looking for more. You are going out. Yeah, you're going out. <laughs> uh, we have a call up, please. Hello, good evening. Yes, good evening, good evening. Yeah. I just want to commend the three uh, musicians. Starting with Norman Laker from Phoenix, 60 years plus and still going strong. 
We have Geoffrey, a very polite and decent guy. You know what? You can do. I want you to tell us a little how Triple Triple K got its name. And then of course we have Esther Banton. This is your former manager in the under 15. <laughs> Esther was so good in the cricket. Uh. Batting very well, I did not know what happened, he just left cricket. <laughs> but this man was a prolific youngster, batting very well. I managed you overseas at least two occasions. Keep up the good work, man, and congratulations. Thank you. Good night. Yeah. Well, I, 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 knew, I have known Asa for a very long time, <laughs> uh, high school days, so I can, yes. I can attest to his um, cricketing skills, you know. Very, very good cricketer. Excellent. Very disciplined. Always very respectful, though, and so yes. on. You know, very yes. respectful. Um, Triple K, they wanted to know how you got your name. How we got the name. Well, actually... Uh, well, I hope, I hope <laughs> Thomas Kent is done you guys. <laughs> <laughs> For the TK. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no. Well, the, the, the thing is, um, the, the band, when the band started, it started with three guys from Loda Village. That's Kendall, mm. Keenan, and Kurt. Mm. And each of them, uh, their first name started with K. Mm. So they um, put, the, put, it, put it together and just figure, okay, three Ks, triple K. Mm. You know, and without much thought being placed on the fact that probably there may be a connotation with the other three K organization in the US and so on. So, um, you know, that went on. The, the band decided at some point to change the, the, the spelling from triple K to triple K A Y. Uh, we tried to put some, um, some acronym to the, or we tried to, to give the A Y an acronym, meaning um, to say culture and youth. And um, we realized at some point that, you know, we need to rebrand the entire organization, you know, to, to get it onto a different level, to give it that new face. And uh, we just decided to rebrand it to TK. But that, the, 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 the three Ks, Really came from the, the, the three um, founding members of the band, Kendall, mm. Keenan, and Kurt. Sure. Now, there's a question from WhatsApp. It says, Good night, PM. Great show so far. I would like to know from any of the guests, have the constraints brought about by COVID forced any creativity in terms of new music concepts? Who wants to take a question? Well, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I will say yes. Um, the reason for that is. Um, TK is a interactive entertain in or entertainment entity. Um, we feed a lot of the the, the enthusiasm and the, the vibe from the fans. We feed a lot um, of, on the, the type of shows, the events that we do, and um, we feed a lot as well on where we go, what we experience, what we interact with, and obviously, if you're sitting at home, all of these um, variables going to be out of the window. So. You're not going to be able to, to, I mean, let's say you produce a song right mm -hmm. now, a jump and wave song. Mm -hmm. Nobody's there to jump and wave. <laughs> so you have, to, you have to now think of something else that will that will suit the times at this point. So obviously, what was being created back then, because of the situation or because of the circumstances that we were in, um, we have to reevaluate and, and, and move in a different direction because of that situation. Okay. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, what I know. We took the time. Peter and them, and they practiced, got songs, and, and, and the band has recorded 10, ten new songs. Oh, yeah. um, four, four Bouillon and six Soka. So when are you going to release um, them? Recently, we released two. two okay. But then we released them for independence, but then we, got, we, we had the problem. So I, I hope it's not a waste. Yeah. And and we, 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 we'll have to relaunch them. So. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure, sure. <laughs> now, Is the future of entertainment in Dominica virtual now? No, yes, sir? not for me, no. Not for you? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very good short-term um, uh, solution. Interim measure there. Yes, yeah, so yeah. when we're taking a water break, like right now to me, I'm taking a water break, yeah. you know? So, but um, for me, my type of performance, like um, the question we got on um, WhatsApp a yeah. while ago, um, Interaction is that that's my type of um, performance, you know. Um, interaction, I, the crowd have to be there, you know. But as I was saying, I believe going forward, we can always sit down and put certain um, ideas and so on in, in place, or we can have an event, a, a good event with the amount of people that. Um, that the the officials say 
we mm. can have and keep it safe safe mm. because i have a i have a lot of ideas that i really, yeah, you can, you can share. I, I really want to share sure, you know sure. so sometimes pm going back to the the question early on um but if the government um put on um, and the measures that the government taken mm. and took and that I want to say the, the, the government did a great job by keeping Dominican safe, keep Dominican safe. My, my only issue I had with it, I, 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 I find like some, somebody from the music, you know, and as we were speaking, you said that that's why we really need an association mm -hmm. should be there when, when um, measures was taking place. Because mm -hmm. I, I personally felt that um, we were not taken into consideration when certain decisions were made. And when the borders were, when the borders were open, we now look for ourselves, attempting to make some um, some money, and then it it get chaotic. You get events, there, events, there, events. Yeah. It start to look like oh my god, it it no too too many events, too ma too many people on the road, too many people moving, and then. Now everything gets shut down. So when, like, moving forward, I would really want to be part of that discussion. At least we can give our ideas and 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 so on. But for me, virtually, no, yeah. I I don't believe in virtual yeah. shows. No, but we we as I said, you know, we we accept the mm -hmm. the shortcomings in respect to uh, a lack of consultation on on this. And um, I I I still believe that we have an opportunity to to meet. Um, as entertainers with the, with the government and, and to see how we can collaborate because it's one of the questions I have there is look carnival is coming up mm -hmm. um, obviously COVID will still be with us mm -hmm. uh, because you have a major wave taking place in Europe uh, the situation is getting um, even more serious in the United States um, and of course these are our two source markets mainly and of course within the Caribbean and so forth the, the question there, you know, is what kind of activities, entertainment activities, can we have um, during the carnival season? Take into consideration the fact that COVID will still be with us and there very well may be still uh, certain restrictions. Well, um, I, I, um, I think we should have, have our calypso tents. Hmm. If the limit is, is 250 hmm. people, limit it to the 250 people. And what could be done, maybe a number of people could be made to sit, sit down. Sit down. Yeah. Um, if you have 250, maybe 200 could sit to 150, and then, you mm -hmm. know, you can organize your, your, your space in. So, you, so you're saying we can have the, the um, Calypso tents? No, with, I think with with, um, yes, uh, yeah. attendance limitations. Yeah, and, and, and insist on wearing of masks. masks and so. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, well, I, I wanted to talk. Sorry. Uh, you, okay, sorry. Well, well, I could, huh? <laughs> you no, well, one thing, well, I mean, but, but I mean, other oh, shows, sad, sad to say, but thing like the, um, the street jump, uh, mm -hmm. Lago street jump, Calypso finals and so on. These things cannot work. Yeah, not possible. Uh, yeah. In terms of the, the possibilities um, for carnival, um, obviously we would have to have that discussion primarily with the um, health officials mm -hmm. who can give us some guidance as to what should be permissible at that point, um, mm -hmm. given the fact that probably there may be a vaccine or whatever the situation mm -hmm. is. But I think what, um, what, is, what that has created right now, the fact that more than likely we will not be able to have any mass gathering, I think we should try to use that opportunity right now to look at the date of carnival or the placement of carnival for Dominica. I think we should use that opportunity to, to discuss whether or not carnival, I mean, that discussion has been happening for a very long time with different people. <laughs> but I, I don't, again, probably, <laughs> probably, probably with the, 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 the real major stakeholders, which are the musicians themselves, um, maybe we may not have a, a, a loud enough voice um, to, 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 to hear those things. But what's, your, what's, what's the recommendation of the main stakeholders well, in terms of actually we are you suggesting to uh have a different time of the year yes that's correct yes and well, we, what are you guys looking at uh, we look well i we had a discussion on, on end of yeah. may on, early june yes end of may early june yes and we uh, have saint lucia during that during that time no saint lucia is in july july or oh, grenada when is grenada july. july 
Yeah, July into uh, mm -hmm. into the August Monday weekend. That is when most of them. Mm -hmm. uh, Saint Lucia is early July, like 17th, 18th, 19th. And you have jazz in May here. Yeah. So we were probably thinking that may have to that might augment. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I, one, one of the things that we're looking at honestly is because we're looking at we have what mm -hmm. we can consider uh, booyah music. In the but, but is it that is it? That, I, I mean, it's somewhere is a conversation. I'm hoping I want to meet. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. clearly tonight is not maybe the right time for it. Okay. That you know, is it that we're trying to compete um, when we should not be competing? No. I mean, it, can we not develop the our carnival um, offering um, that can really attract? the numbers that we like to attract. I mean, yes. I mean, all kind of, to me, for me personally, I see all kind of largely for um, Dominicans living overseas. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, with their friends and family um, c coming, you know. Um, I still believe that there should be greater collaboration with the French islands of Martinique and Guadeloupe for carnival. I've seen a couple of years where we've had a significant number of, of people coming from Martinique and Guadeloupe, even if it is a carnival at the same time, but they were a different type of carnival than ours. Um, you know, so so we can have a discussion on this. I mean, yeah. you know, uh, yeah, and, and but this is my my own initial views <laughs> <laughs> right, so on so it. See, that 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 carnival you're talking about, that, that yeah. you love, that's the traditional mass. Yeah. And so you you really love that carnival in place. Yeah. I really love that carnival to stay in place. Yeah. Maybe we could name it something different. <laughs> yeah. But then we need. But, but you want, want I want D A carnival, which is. End of, May, end of May, June. End of May, June, ah. tourism, and you see that airport you're building there? <laughs> we have to utilize it. All right, but, so. but, but I would like to be like <laughs> part of the conversation, you know. That airport has to be utilized. <laughs> we have to think yeah, about it. I would say May. May. <laughs> because you know it's going to be dry. 99% is going to be dry. Right. Yeah. June, the rain starts. Starts, I see. So, um, and, and one, but one, one, but um, for now, wouldn't maybe it would be easier if Carnival come in? Could be postponed. Post, post yeah. Yeah. To me. Um, no, that's a good thing. I, I, I hope. Yeah. I hope we'll have the vaccine in Dominica by that time. Well, or it will be at least people will be getting well, vaccinated. Well, we. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're working on this, but obviously, um, you know, the vaccine has, not, it has been rolled out in some countries. Um, the United States has indicated that um, it, it's basically available. Yes. Um, so we'll have to see how it rolls out for the rest of the rest of the world, including Dominic and so on. But at least we're making provisions to acquire um, vaccines That's for all seasons. That's why I said a while ago, the, the, the virtual event is a short-term solution. Short -term so solution. for Carnival this year, yes, we can do we can do it virtually. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, um, we had discussions with um, the management of. Um, events and planning at DFC, you know, yeah. and they have some great ideas too, and we have some great ideas and we can put it together, yeah. Yeah. where the government is involved mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. keep it on a weekend and and have, you know, a lot of people out of Dominica, the foreigners looking at it virtually yeah. and, 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 and get a taste of the culture of, I see. of Dominica. Yeah. But I, I will, for, for I will convene this meeting <laughs> um, with the various stakeholders so that we can have um, a more in-depth conversation on what you're proposing. Okay. Now, l let's talk about the quality of music and production in Dominica. Uh, for now, our, our main genre of music in Dominica is bouillon. Am, am I correct? Yes. All right. <laughs> Are, are we oh, satisfied? No, we not a bouillon band. Maybe you just said there are five bouillon songs. Four of them. Are we satisfied that we're producing quality music that we can sell to the world, though? No, we should never be satisfied. Hmm. Um, I think there's, there's always room for improvement. Mm -hmm. um, but at the end of the day, we have to work with what we have. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes, the the cost for for studios and 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 getting a good engineer to mix this song to the quality of Buju Band on a busy signal like the song you you you, you like here. <laughs> you know it it's a bit costly mm. and you know some of those guys in Dominica would complain you know to get them the the equipment to get that job done kind of expensive so 
the quality we can definitely work on the quality because quality is very important because you would send a song to to a dj or to a radio um, station and the song and the lyrics is a hundred percent good but from the time they play it and the quality not sounding good they're just going to push it aside so quality is very important so definitely we have to improve on our quality but we're just working with what we have you know so if if there's any way that we can get help. To What's it? You mentioned about a piece of equipment. What, what piece of equipment is that that's required, that you said is expensive? Like um, the, the mixing boards and so mm -hmm. on. And, and that part of it, you know, the, those guys who work in the studios, like um, Kendall Laura, you know, um, um, Cecil, Joseph, and um, Junior, mm -hmm. um, Dada, mm -hmm. and so on, they, they would be the one best known you know, the, 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 the name of those equipments okay. that they need. Okay. And so on. Yeah. Geoffrey, please. Yes. Well, I, I agree. I agree, definitely. Um, there's always room for improvement because we have, we have experienced it a lot. Um, when you send your, your music to international DJs, they love the production, but they always tell you the quality is not on par with the international market. We have utilized in the past um, some um, engineers from overseas mm -hmm. to improve on the quality. Um, one of the things that we realize is we, can, we cannot really use them on our mixing, but we can use them on our mastering because they, they, the, most of the engineers overseas don't understand fully the, the type of mix for our own music. Mm -hmm. But the mastering is one, one of the areas that we, we try to um, work on using overseas engineers with the expensive equipment. And obviously, they have the expensive equipment, so obviously they charge us a lot mm -hmm. <laughs> for using their equipment. And, um, you know, that, that is one of the things that has hindered us in terms of being able to ensure that all all product gets mastered um and in these places so that is one of the one of the things that that, that really has held us back in terms of the the quality of the final product mm -hmm. but um in terms of in terms of the production quality i i think i'm satisfied if, with what we have been producing um it may not be palatable to every and anybody but for the the, the demographic that we are targeting mm -hmm. i think it i think it works it works well okay. yeah yeah, yeah well, the thing is, oh. I'll, I'll come to you in a while, uh, Mr. Leto. The caller, please. Hello? Hello? Hi, good evening. It's XC. Um, I, I just wanted to ask Carlson. Uh, Where does Carlson fit in? Hmm. Okay, we, we, we will respond to your question. Okay, thank you. Uh, Mr. Lito, please. Well, what? Um, you're talking about uh, the, the, Calypso? Well, 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 you can go to this question. Well, so, well, so. Well, well, what happens is Calypso is a major part of Carnival. Mm -hmm. And I feel also that <coughs> Calypso should also be used for World Creole Music Festival. Mm -hmm. Because the biggest show we have for Carnival is the Calypso show. And I don't, and to me, um, we're just not having Calypso in the World Creole Music Festival. Recently, Tasha performed. She has a single Calypso. A Trinidad band accompanied Tasha in World Creole Music Festival. Mm. Uh, I mean, how, how, how does that work? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense at all. Yeah. We definitely need to push our, our Calypsonians. Yeah. They are the life of the carnival. And as you see, there's quite a bit of money in, in circulation through, through, through carnival. But, but, but aren't people concerned, though, about the quality of the lyrics, though? I mean, yeah, but, I mean have, have we not dropped in the quality of the lyrics? I mean, you, when you compare to the days of um, NC and Trinada and, 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 and the likes? Well, I feel we have, we have too much politics in Calypso. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can sing about anything, the ceiling, the picture, the people, the light, anything, you know, and, and you can give anything a double meaning. That is Calypso, mm -hmm. but people just, um, it, is, it seems to be felt that you must have politics, you must criticize this one and lambaste that one and so on. And, and, and that just keeps the whole art from back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, how can we uh, make our, our songs or our music more marketable? Uh, how, how does Puyo become to Dominica, what soca is to Trinidad, and what reggae is to Jamaica. Norman. Well, okay, I'll tell you. Um, 
if, if you listen to Trinidad Soka, mm. you get fantastic harmony. I'm sure you'll know that. Mm -hmm. Good harmony. You get um, good, good chord, chord, chord structure. Music supposed to be supposed to be um, pleasing, you know. Um, and like if you if you just take a, um, I'm not talking about Issa Banton or Trot or Trot Triple K, but the, the younger bands, a lot of younger bands. Guys play and mainly one note bass, boom, 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 boom. I don't know how somebody can do that, but you need to color color the music, bring in passing chords. If you listen to, like, like every Sunday at night, I listen to big band music. And when you listen to all these passing chords, that is so pleasing, it's, it's actually a pleasure. And, 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 you, and, you, and you bring this thing in any type of music, instead of going to one, go boom, 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 you put something, you know? <laughs> But yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Little. Let's go ahead. Um, and, the, and those two questions you just asked, there's um, great questions, eh? I, yeah. I love tackling them questions there. <laughs> so people like to talk about the, the lyrics. Um, that's a tricky question because if you look at it, some of the, the most conservative songs, or some of the most conservative and conservative, con <laughs> Some of, the, some of the most um, conservative songs Con uh, written, yeah. most of them don't go on to become hits. You know, the market big, it's a big market, and people like what they like. Because you, if, if you listen to some of Sparrow songs, and what Sparrow talking about, if you listen to um, some of the calypsos um, from before, the lyrics and them, if you have to break it down, you know, it's, it's, it's just how you mask it. Mm. And um, Buyo, I, I, I believe we should, the music and, um, industry sh should, should get the opportunity to work with the other industries in Dominica and tie them two together. So, in terms of, um, like right now, with the the health situation that happening right there with the COVID nineteen, I believe the the music industry and the and the health ministry should be working together in terms of um, promoting um, the, the protocols and guidelines, the protocols and guidelines, and the and, and, and the getting people aware of what happening and the info because when you watch something, we have way more following than than some of the the news media so so it it have to go you know all in comparison everybody yes. must be engaged then. and then use us to 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 to, to make the ads you know put us on billboards and promoting um hand sanitizer and the, the the hand sanitizers um you know and that type of that type of thing so i, I believe we should work to together and when you put Dominica music as part of everything that happened in Dominica, the music actually carrying Dominica and Dominica carrying the music. I, I want us to continue on, on that line. Let me get a call and come back. Hello, caller, please. Yeah, good evening, Ian. Good evening to you, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good evening to you, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very happy to see you back on the back. It's going to be in the back of my mind. Uh, now, referee, I just want to give you a comment and to my cousin, Kinsa, and thank you, my brother, good evening to you. Good evening. And we will get to see you back in what is a coming from Kinsa, okay? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, I have a suggestion, given the COVID circumstances and the situation that we have in Dominica, I just want to that we have it under control. And um, I believe we could that they go some events that they can understand with the terms and so on. And still be able to go. And the only thing we can do, which is just a little suggestion I have, is for example, in the stadium, we should have a, 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 a tent in the stadium. And you can take traps and poles and so on and use those from squares. 
we can have um, the four people in one square and make them eight foot apart. And if you screen people in test, and you can have some spare play, etc., before they come in. And people still within that um, thing, people are saying. Because I see it happening in other countries where people go into the event and some people stay in a vehicle, some people stay in a square, in a little space, and they will have to be people. Because I think people that have to be disciplined, they have to be able to do their thoughts um, on their applications, um, to discipline and to stay in their space, to stay in their area, and it can have to be done. People can be in their vehicle and don't move up all the place, and they can check their little thing, and then they can ask, and check their little thing. I'm sorry, I'm going to tell you that, because I already did it. COVID sometimes can be very frustrating to people, and just the thing is that you can have a nice little um, thing on people's mind. So, if you have that event, and you put your little boxes, you know, and you take your books to other people, and you put them in there, you get each group of us, I think it's a good idea, and people can understand and understand yourself. Okay. The second suggestion I have for sure. you, how you have that in Thank you. Thank you very people. much. Uh, so you, before we went to the caller, you were talking about the promotion of Dominican music. I, I, I accept it fully. My view is that um, this called Dominican Ministry of Tourism uh, should market our music the same way we market the tourism sites and the, and the hotels. And, and so even on the, on the DDA's website, um, we should have all our bands and, and their contacts and the it's type of music that they, that, that they play. So people looking to, exactly. for, 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 for bands from Dominica could certainly access that. So, I, so I, I, I think we have to recognize that there has not been sufficient engagement, um, sufficient consultation, sufficient collaboration. And, and, and I think um, maybe it's, it's an opportunity for us to, for us to reset the clock. Yes, right. it is. And yeah. um, because the music industry, you know, the entertainment industry is a major source of um, foreign exchange and, mm -hmm. and, and unemployment. And, and I, don't think, I don't think we in Dominica, we see it that way. Mm -hmm. we, we see it more as a carnival time, a curl festival time, but we don't, I don't think we see the, the export um, potential Eventually. of the music industry. And I think this is um, an area where we have uh, uh, an advantage, you know, we can export these things, uh, mm -hmm. and you don't need any major infrastructure to, to right. you know. Uh, and so I think, I think we really need to upscale and, and upgrade um, the recognition and, and the consultation. And I am prepared to play a part um, in that um, in, in, in that consultation. Uh, but I believe that we really, you know, I, I don't think we are we are taking advantage of of. Um, 25% of what's out there. Right. Um, but I think there has to be collaborative efforts. Obviously, on, on the part of the, of the entertainers, there has to be, we have to improve on, on, on our professionalism, on our structure, our management, you know, and, et cetera. But we have to help each other. Right. Um, and I think if we help each other, and the only way we can help each other is by having consultations, yeah. uh, engagement, and agreeing together, okay, this is what we're going to be doing. Exactly. It, does that make sense? Is something? Mm -hmm. it made it. Make a lot of sense mm. because when you say Trinidad, when you say Trinidad, <laughs> what is the first thing that comes to mind? You don't think of the oil, mm. <laughs> you don't think of their oil, you don't think of their beaches, mm. you, you think of Carnival, yeah. Soka, Marshall Montano. When you say Jamaica, first thing that comes to mind mm. is, is reggae, you know, and mm. uh, we know Jamaica have nice waterfalls, do mm -hmm. you know, and that is, and like when we travel. The biggest tool that Dominica have, like Dominica have, one of the, let me say one of the biggest tools, mm -hmm. is the entertainers, like the music, like the artists, like, like myself, Triple K, you know, Swing Inside and, 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 and the others, that travel, that is free promotion, free marketing. Mm -hmm. Because when I go to, uh, when I go and perform on, on, on certain events, 15,000 people, 12,000 people. By when the, the MC come out, when the MC say, come into the stage, 
a subantel from the island of Dominica, from mm -hmm. the nature island of Dominica. And I go out there and I represent my country. Inside there, I have about four to 6,000 people, three to 4,000 people that don't know anything about Dominica. Mm -hmm. And I see it many times. Mm -hmm. And they now want to know where is Dominica, what else Dominica have. I want to visit that island. Because PM, I went to England and performed at, at um, Northern Little Carnival, Dreamland Juve. And there wasn't much Dominicans there. But those that was there re really came out and represent. And after that performance, when I went on Facebook and I look at the, you know, the, the reaction of the people and the comments and so on, I seen somebody say, I, I seen a girl tag about 15, 15 friends of her own, and she saying, we need to go to Dominica. Now, she wasn't at the event, but she saw it on Facebook. So her friends that was at the event telling her, that's not Dominica, but the artist is from Dominica. Mm. So she said, if the artist can do that in, 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 in London, because they, they tell us in London, and other, she said, she wanted to go to Dominica to see how these people fare. Mm. So, you know, so we can always use, use the entertainment in industry and promote Dominica through the entertainment right. industry. That's why the, the tourism, tourism and tourism and, and health right now, because right now is health time, yeah. they have to work with, with the entertainment industry. Yeah. We have a caller, please. Hello? Yes, good evening. Good evening, sir. I just want to make a comment about the, um, when you refer to the quality of the songs in terms of the, the lyrics. Mm -hmm. I think Asa was just referring to whether the lyrics have some immorality or whatever in it. But my point of view is that the, the, the Buyo artists in particular should look at writing songs more in line of the way it's written in, in the form of a story. If you give a good story, I mean, I'm not saying it's in Calypso, but constructing songs in a good storyline. Because if you listen to most of the successful um, soca songs in Trinidad, they have a very good storyline. So I think they should try to write their songs, you know, in the structure in form of a story. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you want to react to Yes, that? yes. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to react to that because, I mean, it's, it's no secret that Trivica has gotten a lot of flack for lyrics and lyrical content and stuff like that. But, um, you know, it, it is a proven fact that um, lyrics will enhance a song. But if you have the correct melody and the correct music, that in itself will carry the song as far in, in, in the many different places, right? Mm -hmm. Because, I mean, there's evidence of, of, of probably one of the most popular songs, one of the most commercially successful songs in the last um, decade or so by that um, Korean um, guy, Sai. He produced that song. 90% of the world didn't know what the song was saying. Mm -hmm. It was just a catchy vibe, and that song was the most popular song. You understand? So there is that infectiousness that can be created by melody and general music. Not saying that lyrics, lyrics um, doesn't enhance the, enhance the product. However, a lot of the times, though, persons listen to, and I'm speaking from TK standpoint, persons listen to the about 30 seconds of a live at 3 a.m., and they use that to judge the entire organization. Whereas they have never given a listening ear to any of the productions that we have made. You know, and we are, I mean, we have put, we've put down and put out a whole host of, of well-constructed songs. And even um, my dear friend, um, Mr. Ian Jackson and others, have already commented and commended us for mm -hmm. when he actually listened to the songs, you know. So I think a lot of people, they, they judge based on these aspects of it. And unfortunately, I would say to, to some extent, the, the generation coming up um, have kind of um, idealized or, or, or used that as their platform. That, that style of the little 30 seconds of small entertainment that we would do at a live event and use that as probably what they would produce. So probably in that instance, there's an issue. But generally speaking, if you look at the recorded material of ASA, of Triple K, of Swinging Stars, of all the other um, entertainers on island, you will find good quality product if you listen to it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, you want let me, yes, let me answer the caller question real yes. quick. Um, like for me, that that's why I make diff um, that's why I make different songs for different people. Mm. 
You know what I'm saying? So, because I have fans in all categories. You know, I have the elderly, I have the, the middle class, I have the, 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 the kids, and so on. So, when I go to Guadeloupe and perform, I cannot go there and sing, I know people that know people. Mm -hmm. Everybody can stand up there and watch me like I'm mad. Now, there are certain places that I've gone perform, like if, if, if I, when I go perform New Jersey, you know, um, certain, in, in certain setting, that is what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. I know people breaking news and mm -hmm. so on. And like one of my biggest songs was Breaking News in Dominica. You want news? I'll give you breaking news. But when I went to Antigua and I sing that song, everybody stand up there watching me. Now, when I bring on another song, like let's say, for example, do something crazy or move the place, mash up. Mash up. So you see, PM, <laughs> the biggest song, one of the biggest songs um, that come from Dominica, yeah. that come from Dominica, is the call I hear me. One of the biggest songs that come from Dominica. I would say, what's the biggest song? Right now, do something crazy is the biggest song now. <laughs> well, let's take a call out, please. Uh, call out, good evening. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening. Good evening to you, sir. I'm calling from the United States, calling from New York. OK, hope you're safe there. Um, <laughs> yeah, we are. OK. Um, Mr. Leta, so just to comment, Mr. Leta's Le um, comment about too much um, politics in Cali, so I, I disagree with it. Because I grew up learning Cali, so to be, to be a social commentary. And what does social commentary reflect? What is happening in the community or the environment uh, at large? Now, my number two suggestion. Prime Minister, I was thinking if you, if you wouldn't consider giving a subvention to the Dominican Catholic Association, thereby they can increase the the king's um, price or whatever it is. And maybe I think that would be a good way to go and that could attract more people to their, to their finals and maybe make the college association a little more viable, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Well. And also, <laughs> during this COVID crisis, I observe that other Caribbean countries like St. Vincent, St. Lucia, they, they're giving sort of assistance to their creative industries. For example, Triple K, WCK, the performing arts. I mean, I wonder whether the government would consider, because these groups are not playing at this point in time, making any money, whether the government would consider at least, you know, giving them some assistance. I mean, look at Kessa right now, he's doing nothing. You would expect Kessa to be in New York next summer, and we, we didn't see him. So, I mean, he has lost, he has lost a lot of income. So I was wondering whether the government couldn't consider those two suggestions that I made. Yeah. I'm not sure what's happening in St. Vincent or St. Lucia, so I can't speak to, to the details of what the governments are doing there. Um, but we, we have, we have put in money at the, at the aid bank that the, the entertainers have access to. And also those, who, those um, entertainers whose um, income uh, is affected, they could also apply for the um, Social Security for the support there, and we're now extending that period of um, access to it, so that because of the protracted nature of the of the of the um, pandemic. But I said we we're going to have a consultation among ourselves, and it, I, I'm I am confident that coming out of that consultation, um, some very important uh, suggestions will come forward, and and that will place all of us in a, in a better position than we are tonight. So, and I'm prepared to to personally uh, convene and to lead that, um, that, that engagement with the, with the stakeholders. Um, on the issue of the, of the subvention, I, I, I can't react, react to this now. Um, but I will say, as a citizen, I, I do believe that the, the lyrical content, yeah, people can talk politics, and they, that's fine. But the, 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 the depths at which we have dropped um, in terms of the content, lyrical content, is it, you know has uh, it has left much to be desired. I mean, let us be, let us be frank, frank with this and so on. And and then you have 
the patrons reacting by not attending. And so if patrons are not attending, we have to find out why are patrons not attending in the numbers they used to attend 15 or 20 years ago. And, and then I think coming out of that um, um, assessment, evaluation, then we can know what, what is needed. But is, is a subvention needed to cause the, the um, numbers to go up? I, I do not know. You know, so unless we do the evaluation and, and, and the assessment and so forth. Um, let's move forward. Do you, do you feel fellow Dominicans um, support the music? Uh, our fellow Dominicans support the music that is produced in Dominica, though. Um, Mr. Leighton. Yes, um, we have a problem with the size of our market. Mm -hmm. uh, 70 something thousand people. Use, but um, Dominicans on a, on a whole to me will support. Mm -hmm. um, before, before, when you saw the records, um, as you said, there was no television until mm -hmm. everybody, everybody had a play at the home. Mm -hmm. We sold a lot of records, but um, you can't get that. Well, CDs can't even sell, sell now. Everything is online. Right. But, um, <coughs> but on the whole, like, the, Dom the, the Dominican support. support. But there could always be improvements, you know. Yes, um, support is, is there generally, um, you know, and um, I think over the years we have, we have amassed uh, 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 quite a substantial fan base, and um, they, they are proud, <laughs> I would want to say, of Dominica and of our, our productions, our music, and of um, TK. So I must say that there, there is support from the, the general masses, um, and we do appreciate them sincerely, um, especially even during this, this COVID period where we have been able to perform or anything like that. The fact that you're constantly hearing your music being played locally, you're constantly getting people tagging you when they're playing it overseas and these places there. You're getting tags with DJs playing it um, in, in radio stations all over the world. And uh, a lot of other persons just interested in the, in, the, in the band. And one of the things that I realized was that uh, the media, mm -hmm. both locally, regionally, and internationally, have reached out to Triple K to get their, their perspective during the COVID and to keep the fans engaged. And um, you, you'll find, obviously, that a lot of the, the fans are Dominican, but you have the other um, different nationalities. But generally, you'll find that level of support. And the fact that right now people are really crying out for mm. the next time that they can see us is really encouraging. And um, yeah, we, we, love, we love that support. <laughs> yeah, and, and let me say something. Mm -hmm. As you already mentioned, that in Trinidad, at Carnival time, all you hear is the songs. The carnival song. Okay. All you hear, soca, calypso, that's all. In in Dominica, is an occasional calypso, occasional this okay, you know. I mean, at this time you need the, the DJs should push, push the music. Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree with this. American time. music and yeah. English music yeah. at carnival time, as to me is at that time you want to play the English reggae, push the lo push the local music. Like, yes, 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 yes. Dominican definitely support their music. Um, you can see it when when we travel. How Dominicans actually who live overseas come out, and locally right here, if if you have a show in Dominica and you bring a foreign artist, and it he don't have certain local bands or artists on the show, your show might flop. Mm. People might not come out, but you'll hear people making noise, you know, after that artist saying, we're going to play and, and so on, you know. So, yes, Dominicans, Dominicans support, support our music. They love our music. And we just have to just keep, keep giving them our music because it's our own. And, and they actually put in our music first. So, yes. But we've seen over the years, I mean, uh, an increase in live band performances, especially at the various village feasts. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, and it is something that I have supported for the, for the government heavily, because back in the days, you would have hi-fis yes. um, playing at village feasts. And then you would have had it one, one night. Yes. Now, um, <laughs> some villages, it's three nights, four nights, five the nights. Um, Ed, Ed in Grand Bay has it for, for, for three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has a... 
it's not for free, you know, for, for, for free weeks, you know, prior to the, to the feast, you know, so, um, and, I, and I've seen a lot of bands, um, you know, participating in, the, in this and, and, and making money. Uh, yes. It's a significant investment. Uh, we, have a, we have a telephone call, please. Hello. Hello, good evening. Yeah, I want to make a contribution. And my contribution is the characteristic music that we play in the sense there is still a massive for that type of music in Africa and in the Indian Ocean. I record the Christmas costume here, the Christmas music of that place. And we let him a big name in that part of the world. And I was speaking to another musician who plays black music and he said, in the name, but he came to my attention that if we have come to Germany, we will pull up a crowd. Now, the tendency of the young music like Bach Kingdom, Williams, and Triple K, it is much more catering for a certain age group of people. But people who are maybe in the high school would look forward to listen to the type of music that grab our attention, mm -hmm. such as the what, what lost the recent TV. I guess we don't know what it was about. And another thing I would like to suggest to him is that we are friends with the great countries, such as uh, China and many other countries. Why won't it be possible we have some musical uh, cultural exchanges across all these countries? And how can we have a city for each country to match one or many other countries to exclude all these commodities uh, to all uh, these matches at a more efficient level, as much more profitable to the industry? This is my contribution. I think the government should think of this as an industry, not as something when when you have a cancel farm, you know, cannibal farm, you know, the food was the water farm. But you have to be something that has to be maintained, and the duration has to be ready to get the limit that the household will be able to spend. You know, you can speak to that language, but the level that you have to take our pain has to be attractive as well. This is my contribution. Yes, some very good points there. Yes. Uh, anybody wants to react to it? He said it all. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I was really, yeah. really not to, <laughs> to answer. All right, we have a question there. Yeah. Well, you know, my friend, uh, I, you know, that's the Radio Obama go man there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. Um, resorting to yeah, we have a question off, there. Off season music. Yeah, so he said. Well, I mean, off season Calypso because you're talking yeah. about Calyp Calypso. Um, the question is do you think since Calypso has become somewhat political for competition, the Calypso needs to resort to making off season music the thing is you will make your music to get maximum of out of it and calypsonian will get a calypso will get maximum out of the music of carnival but, but for how long though you can't have time so yeah, can't, 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 can't. Can't. but the thing is that <laughs> you, you see if the music were not that that pol political and as long as the djs cooperated it could go on but after carnival, people I mean, finish, no, I mean, finish that. I, I, don't think, I don't think it is the political nature of it that is causing its, its um, causing the challenges to it. I think it is the crassness of the political, con political content of it. I mean, you, you back in this rabbit and so on, sang songs and so on, um, but properly masked. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, today, after after 40 years, the songs are still very popular. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You, you, you see, so so I, I, I think there's nothing wrong in, in political song. I, I mean, you know, it, it's great for us to have the social commentary because that is what that is what Calypso is supposed to be about. Really, I said it's from my own understanding. But I think we have we have delved into an abyss um, where it, it is. It is, it, is, it is almost crass, and, and so people are being turned off by it. And so before we get our ashes on Wednesday, it's dead. Yes. And it can't be exported. And so, so, I, so, yeah. so if our population is too small to consume the music, we have to export. And if we can't export, then we're, gonna, we're not going to benefit from the music industry. So 
Calypso now uh, and uh, you know is no longer an exportable commodity. You know, it, it, we can't put any fair and go go on with it or say no show. So, so how do we go back to the days when it was exportable? Um, you know, um, the, and I mean, I'm, and this is a general statement. We're not we're not speaking any sp specific or particular compositions mm. and good compositions, practical lyrics and melodies, mm -hmm. very important. Mm -hmm. Look at look at Chester's forward before yeah. you go. I mean, this is now like a you national them, you know. I mean. That is not a political song. It's just an ordinary song, mm -hmm. and it's just going year after year. Mm -hmm. People, people like it. Good melody, good arrangement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Okay. Good melody, good arrangement. And if you have a backup, you know, you know. But 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 it, is it is it that people like yourself, uh, Mr. Later? I mean, you 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 no longer directly involved. I mean, the, the kind of experience do we do we lack the the experience in the, in the art form? To, to really guide the the, 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 the present day Calisonians, or, or is there a, a, a dearth in, in writing and writers? I'll, t I'll tell you, Pat Aaron said something once. Mm. He said Norman Leta is the first person he has seen to replace himself mm. with his son. Mm. So, um, <laughs> what I was doing, my son was yes, doing. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, um, he composes, he arranges, he records, he plays keyboard, sax. So, um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so um, <laughs> we'll continue the conversation also all so the time. But, uh, yeah. but, but, Mr. Little, I mean, you, you're making a point, but, but do, you, do you like what you're seeing and hearing from the young artists who are currently dominating the entertainment scene nowadays? Huh? As I say, some is good, some, some is enjoyable, not all. And I find you need you need melody, proper mel good um, good melody, mm -hmm. good harmony. You know, I think I think there's a little too much chanting because mm -hmm. some of us cannot sing at all. And they form a band, they speak of pillars and they chant <laughs> and boom boom boom, boom bass on one note bass I, I I mentioned earlier. I really cannot reach, so, so, reach, so we need reach, to reach very far. Yeah. And I say, if you listen to the soca songs, mm. that is why I think they are reaching far. Mm -hmm. um, because of the good harmony, mm -hmm. good melody, good arrangement. Well, how do we achieve those things? That is music. How, how do we achieve those things? Uh, is it for training or? Well, um, musicianship, good, good musicians come. Composing, mm, I see. You know, um, PM, I agree. The, I agree with Norman on the part of. Yeah. Let, me, let me say, let me say, me. The same thing. You, you, you can remember the song it was political, but um, crabs, um, about the airport and mm -hmm. the, the, asked me about the prime, asked me the prime minister. And, uh, yeah, that was well masked. Mm. So that is how song should be. It's a political song, but it's something of good melody. Mm. Good lyrics, well masked, and people will enjoy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. Yes, sir. Sorry, for <laughs> no, I agree with you on the on, on the melody part of it, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, as I always say, people like what they like, and yeah. what makes your day good sometimes is not that make my day good. I know, I know. But for on the calypso part of it, I don't speak about. I don't, I don't want to speak about calypso. So you know, they have competition times. To me, what happened in competition? Stay in competition. After the competition, they can still make songs about Dominica, about their mother, about different things. In, in the Bouillon, where, where I am, what, what else about different lyrics and, and so on? If you go out there, one of the biggest songs that come from Dominica is Balance Batty mm -hmm. and Stroke Back. They're talking about woman whining yeah, and batty, yeah. you know, and that's not the biggest song out there right now. Yeah. Signal Bun, they have a song called Buy Your Love, I Know Buy Your Love, mm. which is a classic song. But that song would not play in the Uber Soka Cruise, that song would not play in, in a Juve somewhere. 
But that song, it have the people for that song, and over your love. Balance Bati have the people for that song. So you know, everybody makes songs de depends on their crowd, who they feed into. Because if it's rice you want, I'm going to give you rice. Rice is what I'm making me make money. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to give you bread and it's rice you want. You know, so, so sometimes people... You give the people what they want. I give the people what they want, you know. <laughs> because sometimes the people are telling me, they say, you know what, you should make that type of song. Now, if I make that type of song to please them, they, they're not coming to my show. I don't see them at my That's show, right. but they're on Facebook writing it. That's right. They're on Facebook writing it. And then the people are coming to my show, that is what they want me mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. sing. So that is why mm -hmm. I, I take different routes. I try my best to make songs for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So PM can invite me to come and perform in a ceremony. We had, the, we had Mr. Speaker sit down, <laughs> and, and you know, mm. and the president and his wife sit down. And I know what songs to choose and, and what song to sing. But if I go to, to another event, which is a juve setting, I have to sing, do something crazy, and well, move. So we, so so we, so we, you can sing the wet fat thing. All right. And you don't have to go there. Then from time I start to sing the the wet fat, you go into you go into you go into that way. So, so, so you don't think if if Biolog was a, was well marketed, mm. it would couldn't play on the soccer cruise? Yeah, it, 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 it wants, wants, it wants will to play. play. It's an, it's a no, it melody. will play, and it may be play. It, it will play, because I hear another you love playing in different places. Yeah. But I'm talking about the Make damage it that uh -huh. it would do in a soccer party. Oh, oh. You know what I'm saying? In a, okay. in, in, in a fete, it might not do it. Right. It will not do it, matter of fact. And I, I think I just wanted to... Yeah, yeah so this, well, it's a said it all in that, in that regard. Mm -hmm. But I just wanted to um, kind of answer... The question that you had from um, that you posed to Mr. Later in terms of how do we achieve that level of um, musicianship or that level of um, melody and harmony mm -hmm. that you're looking for? I think probably the, the, the situation in Dominica right now stems from the fact that um, the majority of productions are being done by one person. So you'll find that there's one primary or one person mm -hmm. actually doing the production, and that person has that one track mind doing whatever they're doing. And it we've a lot of the productions have lost the band or the musicianship mm. um, aspect of it, where you get the different ideas from different artists and um, musicians and artists coming together to form that, to formulate that. You'll find someone mm -hmm. create a Igba loop, mm -hmm. he's an artist, and then that's the end of it. You know, so that's how you find that, 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 that level. So I guess in time, if with more collaboration, as you're saying, within the industry itself, you can get that greater, that greater product. So let us take a call and uh, come to the next question. Uh, caller, please. Hello, good night, Mr. Chien. Yeah, good evening, sir. Good night, John Gray. Good night, Good night, Mr. Chien. Good night, Mr. Chien. Um, I... Tell me to speak to me. I also know how to speak to me. Nice conversation. That's all the reason, thank Um, I only have one concern towards the music and not just the audience. Um, we... We can be glad we have never done a story behind our type of music. So the young world to form, you know, they could come back and really show up, you know, what they can do, what they learn. Mm. We have had a thought towards our music, our political music, and everything else. It would go proper, everything would go proper, everything would be forward. So that is just that we call it in the music right now. Just that people do music that they don't know what they have to do. To them, they can play a song, they can make a real. And then that is it. But if they don't understand what they are doing, they will always continue to say to what they are doing. So, you know, I could just see that before the time that we are not doing nothing, the COVID, everything, I think we should have a story of all our music, or each meditation, or each meditation, or each meditation. I think I've been hearing about that, uh, like, I'm only calling it. That you know, if you plan to go to a workshop and whatever, but the workshop that I hear about that talking about Google, that government system, mm -hmm. but something that we mm -hmm. need to do no about. So at the end of the day, I think the government that we need to start to do is put it in place or we just to make a top of things. So we have professionals like this, uh, we have me, we have we have a lot of people that know how the music to be played. I think 
we need a story for our period or carry so with it. Everything. You check? So that just makes it. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Well, we have a question by WhatsApp, which is essentially almost similar to what the question I'm about to ask. So it's a good evening, Big Ben here. That's Big Ben. The Big Ben. Big Ben. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're very interested in one-on-one. -on -one. The Dominican musicians require a structured body and unity. We have come a long way, but don't underestimate the power of Dominican music. Our, our biggest setback is qualified engineer, engineering and top-notch equipment to create that final masterpiece. You know, I have, I have met a few, many of you on, on a one-on-one, on -on -one and, and I have suggested that we need to come together and have uh, an organization, an entity that um, can represent the interests of entertainers. Because as it is now, if we had to consult, who do we call? That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, and who do we leave out? You know, because you run the risk of leaving out people that should not be left out. And, and because everybody's representing himself mm -hmm. and his band and his group, his organization. So, but if we have an organization and my office were to write and say, I'd like to have a meeting with entertainers, then you would make the contact on, 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 on my behalf and say, okay, well, 10 of us will come to represent this, this, um, the entertainers. Mm -hmm. Like what's Creole Festival. Mm -hmm. I believe that more Dominican bands should make it on the Creole Festival list every year. But which ones do you include every year? Which ones do you leave out every year? And so if the organization were to meet and say, okay, well, 10 Dominicans are going to be on the Creole Festival, the association will meet and recommend to the DFC, say, these are the 10 people that we, 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 we come. Now, ASA might be on, and ASA might say, well, this year I, I can't make it because I have to be in Germany on the fourth, and, and therefore I, it's too, too tight for me. Mm -hmm. So I will skip next year and come. And then three inks could fill that spot, and next year ASA will, will come in. Yeah. So I really believe that um, we have to organize ourselves. We have to be more professional. We have to be more structured. Mm -hmm. And from the government standpoint, we're prepared to assist in whatever we can. I mean, this is a pri your private sector people, and you know, it's a free market economy. <laughs> it's a democracy. People are free to associate and are free to dis disassociate. But I believe that it would, it would be of tremendous good for Dominica and for entertainers if we have one organization. And now I understand there may be frictions between people, among people, and so but that's part of the entertainment industry. But that should not um, overshadow the greater good of us working together. Mm -hmm. um, and so, so I don't know what, what are your views on this. Uh, so the organization and, 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 and how do we get to that point? of having an organization in Dominica. Yeah, definitely. Um, in terms of having a... a, a so, so, sorry, but so even, even this oh. issue of, an, of, a, of a studio, we have spoken about doing a studio as a government mm -hmm. for the public. Yeah. Now, who's going to manage it? You know, who's going to run it? We don't want to run these things. You know, the government, we have schools, we have police stations, we have health centers. <laughs> That's what we want to run. We don't want to be in a studio or, 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 or a stadium or these things, you know. We would like people to take over these things who are benefiting from it directly. So, 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 so these are kind of discussions, you know, engineering, scholarships. We give scholarships to thousands of Dominicans. You know, are there people who are interested in that kind of engineering who can yeah. receive scholarships to go and study? So, so, so there, there, there is a will, and therefore we have to find a way. And, and I think the way is by, by, by for yourselves really um, deciding um, what approach you're going to take. But go ahead, please. Yeah, well, I'm PM, I, I want to <laughs> agree with everything that you just said, because we have seen it within our own um, individually, where we need to have that united voice to be able to represent our concerns, not only to the government, but to all other entities, even in terms of um, having a representation overseas, where the situation, if an artist overseas, and that person can use that body to represent on his behalf, you know, and, and so on. So we definitely realize and recognize that we need to unify um, as an industry. We need all the players to come together. We need all the players to be able to interact with each other on a business level where we can represent ourselves properly. And that these things that we're looking for, from in terms of assistance from the private sector and entities, from the public sector and all other places, that um, we can represent in a, in a, in a, with a one universal voice. Mm. And that I think in that way we'll be able to get greater results. Because as you say, if ESA comes to you today for something, he needs personally, I come to you tomorrow for something. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Whereas we can collectively decide 
hey, for the industry, this is what is needed currently. This is where, and let us make the representation to the government or to whoever it is to be able to receive that assistance that we're looking for and to be able to develop the craft. Um, because one of the things that we also recognize as well is, as you said, the, the, the DDA and so on, they have that mandate, I, I believe, they, or they should have that mandate to push what is ours in terms of our, mm -hmm. our local um, productions. Because though the, the, the primary focus is, is the production of uh, the shows, Creole Festival, Carnival, and so on, if they do not give these artists and these entertainers sufficient promotion, then you, you're going you're gonna to find that you may fall short but in terms of being able to attract people for that it, unique but product. You see, but there, you see there, there comes the thing. There has to be standards, too. Right. Um, because if you're going to promote something, you must be able to stand by it. Right. And, and, I, think, and I think with the association, right. um, all of these things come. In the hotels, for example, uh, for a hotel to be registered, it has it has to meet um, the the standards. Right. Uh, it has to be certified. Right. Right. You see, even in this pandemic period, if you are a, a, an association organization, you could have written to the Minister of Health, written to the Prime Minister, and say, "Look, we met, and we we support the the protocols and the guidelines, but these are all for, these are our recommendations as to how we believe um, COVID and the entertainment industry." Can coexist mm, definitely you, you see but if you write to me as prime minister then i'm saying why well, well if i go through a case then next thing he said gonna write to me and next thing signal band is gonna write to me yeah. and different requests and different things but if there are agreed um guidelines then that's where everybody will fit in so there's no, no need for mm. people to keep writing and applying mm -hmm. um individually uh for these things so, but i so i am i you know i'm, I'm sincere what they're saying you know um I've been talking about this for, for many years now, about this organization. <laughs> Every time I meet, meet yourselves, I, I raise that. Um, and we would like to build a um, studio. Um, you, know, you can have a top-notch studio, you know, that can meet the, the, the standards that are required and, and, and so on. Because of the, the point is, the number of these studios are at people's homes. Mm -hmm. You know, you do all the soundproofing that that does required, and and, and et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. um, so, so we have limited stuff there. So the quality will never be at the level that it ought to be. The product is there, the talent is there, the the the, 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 the lyrics are there, but producing it to, right. to the to the level that that um, somebody can call you from New York. I definitely yes, believe yes. in the association, PM. Yeah. That's a great idea. I find we the the music industry in Dominica you need to be too. Mm together mm -hmm. and not just bouillon but we have cardas lipso which is our mm -hmm. music itself and something about the the elders mm -hmm. which means the people who have the experience should should get involved mm -hmm. to pass it on to the to the younger children you know from primary school going up because sometimes I, I i i'm concerned about like for example cardas mm -hmm. whether when chobi pass away you know and if if that legacy, you know, will carry on, but I don't even know, no kids in in Granby that really singing, um, that want to sing Kada. Right. So those things we have to bring it to the school, get get the people that know about the the music, know about the system, and so come into the schools and you know train the train the youths and them. So they already know. And and as you say as well, for engineering where we can, um, where, you know, we need people that know about the music Let's itself, yeah. because it's our own. Let's take a telephone call. Caller, please. Yeah, good evening. I'm John McGill. Um, relevant discussion. Um, we believe that the government is concerned about Dominican music product. Um, we do not have to go over the long story of Kadash and where Zook emerged from and where Zook emerged from. We know those things already. There is something I want your panel, which is excellent, to reflect on. What can we learn from Dada? Dada is Dada Rhythms, and he was able to work and get Family Lili Lili to be the road match in Trinidad. Dominican, Lapo Copic Group. What can we learn from him that is all product too that we can apply to what we do now. Thank you very much. Thank you, Colin. Anybody wants to react to the call? Um, I got you all the way. Well, it's well, well, no, well, no, well, 
Well, you know, we can learn a lot from that. And that's the same thing I was talking about a while ago. Mm -hmm. You know, if we can get most of our young musicians and artists, you know, to work with those guys, because they have the experience, mm -hmm. you know, it's the same thing. They, it's, our, it's our music. They use um, our products, our elements in the music, and, and they mix it with different Caribbean island music. So they know what we have is powerful. Mm -hmm. They know what we have is good, but it it just goes. I, I said all that to say the music industry in Dominica is bigger than what you see because mm. we yes, have sir. the people that are producing the readings, you know, guys like Mass Man and, 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 mm -hmm. and, and so on. We have the DJs, you know, we have a lot of DJs in Dominica, DJ Flip, DJ, and Big Ben, you know, Big Ben just called, and so many DJs. Oh, they are pushing Dominican music regionally, internationally, and locally. Yeah. You know, and the, the engineers, even the people with the song system. So the music in Dominica is bigger than, than what yeah. we, we see. That's why we really need a, a board, so, um, a, um, a strong representation for, 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 uh, for the music industry. Now, how, how do you believe government can help, though? Um, through his policies and his programs to, to help you and, and, and others in the industry achieve greater success? Well, uh, it, it, Mr. P, the thing is, well, an engineer is very important, mm -hmm. a good engineer, because I know, because even in Trinidad, a lot of nonsense happens. I know of a song that was recorded, partly recorded in, in Trinidad, and Mastered in Trinidad, and when I, I listened to it here, I heard the radio station here, it was no good. It wasn't mm -hmm. as good as what I was produced here. Mm -hmm. And that is because I suppose it wasn't the Trinidad then. So it really, <laughs> the best thing we, uh, we need to get our own engineer, get somebody so. trained properly. So. And, and but somebody with the ap aptitude, you know, somebody. Right. You know, I think or bring in somebody I don't know to, to do the work or whatever it is, because that is that uh, that, that according to you, that makes a big difference in the quality of a record of a recording. Yeah, but I think um, policy wise though, um, to obviously there, there are many things that we can we would like, or from a policy standpoint, um, to adjust or to assist the industry. Um, Obviously, that would have to come after the much dialogue with those mm -hmm. within the industry. Mm -hmm. um, first, because I mean, a policy is not supposed to affect only one entity within the industry. So we mm -hmm. must sit as a, if we're going to form some association, mm -hmm. um, to articulate exactly what our critical needs at this point, and then, at, and then bring, bring it to the fore. One of the things I would just want to say on that policy aspect of it is um, just to, again, keep in mind that um, there are other policies and other laws and stuff that would have an impact on the entertainment industry. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as long as we can probably form that association, um, I would, we would appreciate you know, that level of consultation and collaboration when these things happen so that at least we, we don't get the, the, the bad end of the stick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, what I have to say about how government can, can help, um, I want government to take the music industry serious, like how they just take agriculture. The same way you guys take agriculture, I want you guys to take the music industry seriously, you know, in terms of financing, certain guys with studio, and, on, and only serious people, not, not people are just saying they're in music for the fun of it, because music is a business. It's, I take music serious because that's the way I, 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 I make my bread, that's the way I, I eat. So, and then those people that are serious, the, the people in the studios, mm -hmm. You know, people who, who um, video come, guys who make um, um, music videos and so on, because those equipments are very expensive. So maybe they can, they can get some duty free on, on certain equipments and, and so on. Because I'll, I'll give you a last example be, <laughs> before we go. Like, for example, Colton T. You know, you don't sing Buyo, but the music that he produced. He put this all into it. Quality music, promote Dominica, you know. 
in, in, in some of them videos, you would see our, our, our natural resources. So we still advertise that out there. So all musicians can get help, can get help through the government. But if, once we have that association in place, and I think okay. uh, we can do a good job. No, we're running out of time. We could, we could certainly spend the whole week <laughs> talking about the music industry because there's so yeah. many facets of it. And it is such an exciting topic and, and a topic of, of great interest uh, to so many. Uh, we have the curl, the World Curl Music Festival. Um, you know, this is our uh, superior entertainment product. Uh, how do you believe we can improve even further on, on our festivals and events in Dominica? Anybody? Well, um, let me just think. Um, I think we should honestly stop looking at these festivals and those events as the shows, honestly. And um, I think it's supposed to be an attraction for a period of time to celebrate the uniqueness of our culture, of our heritage, of the entire country, you know? And um, I think a lot of the, uh, yes, we do market the destination, but a lot of the, 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 the emphasis is placed on the show. Mm. And if you really look at it, the show is a few hours every night for three nights. But we really need the, 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 the show to be something, really um, speaking of Dominica on its own. Um, if, we, if we keep the show so commercialized, like it is pretty similar to what you can find in Antigua, Barbados, and all the other places, you will not really attract people to that. Because they'll figure, hey, I can see that in my homeland. But you need to, we need to be able to create that show that is unique to Dominica and um, that is also not just a show, but an entire experience. You know, I, I think the, the folks at, um, in um, Cozumel and those places there, they have been able to produce events. But the, the fact that they go, people go to the event is not just for the event. They go for the entire experience of, of being in those places. And it has worked well for them, you know, Cancun and those places. So... I think that's what we need to we need to try to do to stop the thinking of oh yes we have a show we have these big artists from here where and there people come for free nights and that's it but we need an entire experience of uniqueness for mm -hmm. our country. Yeah. On yes. on my end, what I'm going to say, they have been doing a great job with the Curl Festival so far, mm -hmm. because the last record we <laughs> we had, the festival grew, over twenty six thousand people on the Saturday night, and I find. They, we improve a lot for the local artists and them because sometimes some, some of them artists and bands does have that that um, way of thinking because they're from Dominica they should be on the festival mm. but the festival no, you, to me you have to work to be on the festival you have to work to be on the festival and then we have the, the festi the, you guys have the, the side stage I think in the, in the food court and I, I see a lot of local art, artists and bands playing there, which is a very, very good thing because they're giving them the, the promotion there as well. And if you keep on doing what you're doing, you're going to move from the side stage to, to, to the, the stage. main stage. And I think they have criteria, and that is what we need to know, know more about. How can somebody make it to the Care Festival right. stage? Because like somebody like me, not only Dominicans want to come and see me, but when people from different islands, you know, you know, St. Martin, Antigua, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Guadeloupe, when they are Ace of Anton on the Creole Festival, they would buy a ticket and come to Dominica. So, you know, so it's, I mean, we have to, the, the Creole Festival on a, on a whole, great job. Yeah, well, to make it to the main stage, mm -hmm. you must have a certain quality of music. I mean, you must be able to certain standard. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, what 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 I find person, personally, I don't see, I, I feel if you have eighteen bands, three nights, six bands a night, there is no point of having as I say a big artist like Marshall Montano or Kassav or some other big act, Jamaican actor, so, and you still having two fairly big foreign foreign groups. Mm. You can if you have a big starter, then you have a, an, another maybe West Indian group, a good West Indian group, and the, okay. and the other four bands can be local. Okay. So you move that maybe start at half past eight, half past eight to half past mm -hmm. nine, and half past ten, and about 11 o'clock a foreign band comes on, and then another foreign band comes on. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. So I feel. But uh, but all of these things, but, I think we, we need to discuss yes, when yes, we yes, meet. Yes. Um, I think they're very important points, very important suggestions. Um, we're all in this together. This is our country. And it'll be what we can do together to improve the lives for all of us. I think we should pursue it. Um, Mr. Leto, any, any final words to the public, please? Well, uh, well what I can tell the public is we, we, we are applying a virtual show very, very soon. We'll, by, by next week, we'll, uh, we'll let them know. Okay. Uh, well, well, today is Sunday. This week, yes. we'll let them know when. So, um, so they can look for it. We'll, we'll be doing that camping scheme, hopefully. And we expect to have our Calypso tent start on, starting on the second of January, and and I hope by, even by Christmas we will be able to play at least one side. So, <laughs> if we, if we, if we, with 250 people, if if it's permitted, so. uh, people could buy the tickets early. Yeah. Uh, I will, I will try to convene this meeting this week, so we, at least we can we can have an appreciation as to some of the protocols, or yes. what, can, what can be allowed, what cannot be allowed, so that people can plan properly going forward. A any final words, um, Shof? Uh, well, Mr. PM, I just really want to thank you for the opportunity to, to share with the audience on a national stage. Um, it was really a pleasure. I think we, we covered a, a wide range of topics critical to the industry. And um, I just want to let the, the fans and the viewing public um, know that uh, Triple K Band loves you all, <laughs> despite not being able to be with you all all these months, but we really love you all. And um, uh, especially to the, to the patrons who have supported our last event, uh, we had to postpone, obviously, for reasons. And uh, we will be updating um, as time goes by as to when you know, we could possibly host another event. But I just want to thank you all. I want to thank and, and, and let you all know that we do appreciate everything, all the posts, all the comments, and all the support that you have given us, given us. And we're asking that you continue to support us and love us and look out for bigger and better things moving forward in the future. Sure. Yes, um, I just want to say, PM, um, thanks a lot for making the people in your voices and our concerns. And, and when you look at it, I just want whatever, whatever steps you take in moving forward on, on music in Dominica, that it, it really happen. Because sometimes you put things in place and then the, the person under you that in charge of that, of that job, they're not doing their job. And you don't have time for that because we have our airport to get, you understand? <laughs> so I don't want you back and forth coming back looking to see if that happened. We need whatever we speak about, and I can, and I can tell any, anybody that. I sure is not somebody that tell you to contact us. You see the need for it, and you reach out to us. You know, I, I didn't reach out to you. You reach out to me. So that means you, you have us in heart and you have us in mind. I just want what we speak about for, for, for the music of Dominica to go forward. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, it was my pleasure to, to host these three distinguished gentlemen. Obviously, there are many other people we could have invited, but our, 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 our production room is small. And, um, but I will certainly will have the opportunity to, to meet a, a wider cross-section of the entertainment industry and, and the practitioners in there when we have this consultation, this national consultation on the music industry. I personally have held that uh, there's a lot more money to be made. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge business. Um, we have uh, talent that, that is um, comparable to, to, to many parts of, of, of the world. Um, you know, we've been pioneers in, in, in in many musical genres. And I think we just have to be more structured, more organized. Um, we have to be able to work better with each other. Uh, we need more, some more training, some more guidance. Uh, we've, we've talked about um, engineering, the production. And I think these things are not impossible things to, 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 be, to, be, to achieve. But working together, having a proper structure will certainly um, help us uh, achieve those, those things. I mean, it's a major source of employment for, for many people, for many people, especially young people, you know, and, and um, you can make a lot of money in it. Um, and I think even at the schools, you know, we have to uh, invest in, as somebody suggested, in, in, in the school choirs and, um, and um, music education. You know, um, you know, we have a lot of subjects at CXC which I have, I have lots of issues with. And, <laughs> 
and we we losing sight of some of the fundamentals of life you know um, sports and physical education and music and, and our culture or history civics we're teaching students all kinds of things except those very important things that are so critical in life um, and, and i think all of these subjects we're teaching people that we have at schools are not necessary at, at, the, at that level because it's universal access to secondary education universal access to tertiary education there are more scholarships available now than there were 10 or 15 or 20 years ago so there's no need for us to be um, having all of these unnecessary subjects. And um, people are saying, but people say in the scary the primary school, but you can change those things, you know. Um, um, but uh, contrary to what many people believe, this is not a one-man state. Um, you know, uh, I share my views um, um, honestly and, 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 and openly. But I believe there are a lot of things that we have to do today. The, the, Tangible and intangible industry is something that we have to pay attention to. Our heritage, you know, it's not about making noise when we go, if, if a building is going to be broken down that is 100 years old. It must be documented. People must be able to, to know what's about. You know, it has to become part of our life and, and not a reactionary thing or, or emotional thing. You know, we, we have to pay attention to those things. And, and I, I think. This is our time, similar to the airport being our time for this to, to get it going. I think we have an opportunity, and yourself, as young people, we have um, Mr. Leighton here, who, who has been in the vanguard and, uh, for, for several decades, still around and willing to help. So we have, we have willing minds and willing hearts, and I think we have to put ourselves together and, and recognize that um, we can make it happen, you know, and, and certainly it can happen. Next week, um, I want to speak about a matter that has preoccupied my mind for many years and continues to, that is chronic non-communicable diseases, hypertension, diabetes. Um, yes, we speak about COVID-19 uh, and people are concerned about it because of its high infectious rate and the stress it places on the health system. But um, the presence of cancer and the presence of diabetes and and hypertension and all of the related illnesses of these things. Um, in my mind, and I've held that for many years, is a major threat to our economy um, and our economic well-being. Um, you know, amputations, how do we stem amputations? You know, how do we uh, prevent strokes? Um, you know, uh, what can we do um, as citizens uh, to, to contain this? And so, so I, I, you know, I want to speak about this thing because I don't want us to forget about the chronic non-communicable diseases while we are preoccupied with COVID-19. And, right, and rightly so, we're preoccupied rightly so. But I think it, it is a major, major concern. And I, I have been to many um, CARICOM meetings on this. You know, we had this Port of Spain declaration some um, 14 years ago, there about. Um, we have, we have structures in place in North America. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to us having a conversation. Every one of our family is affected by hypertension or diabetes or some form of cancer. You know, and it's, it is really creating an economic strain for families and have to spend all their money to treatment. You know, and there's so many complications with diabetes and so many complications with hypertension. And, and um, in many instances, you know, the individuals are not managing this illness properly. So in the case of hypertension, we don't take our medication. Um, in terms of diabetes, we don't pay attention to what we eat and, and so forth. And even with regards to our restaurants and bars and the high content of sugar in our, in our drinks and high content of salt, and we have all of these imported um, seasonings that we use, bohayo and, and bouillon and, and uh, and, and uh, the, the stuff, um, chicken soup and maggi chicken soup and, <laughs> and the other brands of, of this um, so high salt content, the various chips that we have and, um, and even the water that we drink, the bottled water. If you look at you have to be careful with the bottled water. If you look at the sodium content in one, now one bottle won't kill you, but if you keep drinking and drinking and drinking and you have hypertension, then you can increase your sodium level in, in your system. So there's nothing wrong in drinking the pipe water, you know. You know, we can have the bottled water, but we can pour, we can have um, our pipe water from Dorasco in there, 
um, if we think it's fashionable to drink a bottle of water. Um, and it becomes so convenient now that it's easier for us to open a bottle of, um, of bottle of water rather than opening the tap and, and, and drink it from there. So that preoccupies my mind. It has preoccupied me for a long time. And I believe that we need to speak about it and, uh, and to see what we can do all of us together to, to really fight um, the chronic non-communicable diseases in our country. So I want to thank you um, for listening tonight. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot more we could have discussed tonight. As you know, there are a number of questions I had I had to skip because of the, um, you know, it's so, so much of a rich discussion. And for me, it was a, it was a pleasure to, to listen to three of our talented people speak about the, 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 the art form, the industry, so eloquently and, and so passionately. And I think that's what we need in Dominico, passion. If we have passion, 80% of our job is done. Um, and and um, our commitment to our country and, and to ourselves. And we can certainly, we can certainly move mountains um, if we all recognize that this is our country and we all do what we can and we should do. As small as it might be, as big as it may be, but when all put together, we can, um, we can certainly um, make Dominica a great nation. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. Let us go forth and serve our God and to serve our country. Be safe, follow the guidelines, follow the protocols. The wearing of, of, of mask is mandatory in the public. Um, wear your mask in public um, and to protect yourself and to protect your family. Um, this situation is is uh, evolving in, you know, see what's happening to our friends in Europe when we, and we pray um, and commiserate with them, we empathize with them, with the lockdowns that have been taking place, and of course in North America, and even some of our Caribbean countries. Um, we, we have to be vigilant, we have to be uh, cautious and careful, um, because we just never know where it can, it can spring up, you know, and um, uh, so, the, the best thing to, is, to, is to be uh, cautious. I'll say uh, precaution is better than cure. Thank you very much. Good night. Gentlemen, excellent stuff. Thanks.